Welcome back to the greatest adventure ever told. Last time our heroes, Charles and Gregory, shared the road with a mysterious lore walker until he had to return to his people under the sea. Our two Tauren adventurers then rested in the goblin town of Ratchet. Now they are ready to get back on the road again. So here we are in the next episode and we've been, we're being stalked by a naked female night elf named Crazy Fan. So you know who you are. You know who you are. She's around here somewhere. She's around here somewhere. Just went invisible. But, um, yeah, so officially we, we have our first stalker, so you better not kill any of our mobs. We're going to beat you up in real life. You know, Are you going to drink that candle? Am I going to drink that candle? <laughs> um, it is a candle, isn't it? It oh, is. I thought it was a little mug. Oh, dude, my braid is on fire. Oh, do you want to stand up and put oh. yourself out? There's a sea just outside. You can yeah, jump there's a whole ocean. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let me get up. It's time for the adventure to continue. Oh, dude, they put a little sign down. Allies required ahead. No. Oh. We can handle this. It's just me and you on the road again. On the road again? Oh, yes. but first. Uh, oh, I was going to say, uh, before we do the mail, because we have fan mail, um, some people might be wondering, you know, why don't we have a special guest this episode? Uh, and the main reason is because there's only so many people in the world. You mm -hmm. know, so we're, we don't want to run out of people too quickly. Of course, we'll bring people back, but we don't want to run out of people too quickly, so it's just going to be me and Mookluck this time. We wanted to space out the special episodes a little bit. Yeah, pretty much. And, um, yeah, so me and Mookluck, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff today, and uh, we're going to have a good old time. Yeah. But it's it's mail time. Mail time! Mail time. Let's open this up. Oh, I've actually got four, not three. You got four? Oh my... Dude, I have a ton! Ah. I have... Yes, you know who's more popular. I have one, two... Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh my eight, goodness. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... Fifteen letters! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I don't think we're actually going to have time to reply to all of these. Okay. I'm okay, gonna, we'll we'll reply to them maybe after the episode, like we'll write replies, but <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just gonna reply to them in this episode. Do you wanna go okay. first? Okay, well I'll Oh my goodness. Uh <laughs> I'll just say thank you to Seth Roll, Shir Shirami, Wilhelm, and Unclestan? Unclestan? <laughs> I mean I think that's it. Oh they sent some of them sent me money, notes, money. I will reply to you later, but oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> I, I just want to open like one of these letters and read it. I'm gonna- Go on. Like this one. Uh, Gregory Lover. Dear Gregory. Dear Charles, I wrote to you, but you still ain't responding. Listen! I left my boar, my axe, and my owl at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem at the mailbox or something. Sometimes I scribble names too sloppy when I send them. But anyways, screw- Wait, screw what's been up, man. How's Gregory? He's okay. My best friend's questing, too. I'm about to be a farmer. If I have a battle pet, guess what I'm gonna call it? I'm gonna call it Nixium. I heard about your friend Nobble, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, okay, I'll read one of mine. <laughs> what? Just, just one, before we get back to adventuring. Uh, real, real quick, I, I just want to say to, oh, to this guy um, from Gregory Lover. Um... The only time me and Mookluck get on these characters is to record these episodes. So all of these messages, as you can see, are just, like, we have not seen them. So if you've, like, sent multiple messages and you're wondering why we're not replying, it's because we don't get on these characters. Yeah. But, um, okay. Read, read your letter. Uh, the one from Wilhelm. All the others were, like, really sweet ones, like, Hey, love your work, here's, uh, here's some money, and I'm a fan, love it, and greetings from Germany, and everything <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. And Wilhelm's one is just, Hi Gregory, here's 20 cobber. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got one too. Hi Charles, here's 20 cobber. <laughs> Regards, <laughs> Wilhelm. Thank, oh, actually, wow. I, here's 21 copper. You piece of shit, Wilhelm. <laughs> Dude, ah, feels so good being loved more than oh. Mookluck. <sighs> he loves me, but just... I love copper. you just a little bit more. He loves me just a little <laughs> bit more. <laughs> Well, thank you for the cobber. Yeah, thank you for the cobber, Wilhelm. Appreciate it. I'm going to delete the message. I want to read one more. Mm. One more. Like, uh... One. Like this one. Fabricus. 27th birthday. Say happy birthday to me, please. 
Fabricus, uh, probably have missed your birthday by a couple of days, but happy birthday. Happy 27th birthday, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. I won't sing the whole song. I'll spare you. But yeah, dude. Fabricus, oh, yeah. happy birthday. Gosh. This one also says, must read. My dearest WoW Machinima creators, I just wanted to say thank you for all of your hard work, what you're putting into your videos. So here, take this incredible 20 copper, because that's all I have now, so you can keep on working. And remember, oh. never, don't give up, in all caps. Thank you. Thank you very much, Del Delida. Delida. Thank you, wise sage. Thank you. I'm going to take the 20 copper. Thank you very much. Um, well, we're going to be here all day reading all these letters, so... Yeah, we better get back to questing, otherwise <laughs> we're going to be like, get on with it! Yeah, Why get on with it. Why is it taking us so long to level? Yeah, go back to doing the boring questing stuff, you know? <laughs> um, oh, I I'll... actually think our first quest is to punch someone in the face in here. Oh, really? We'll, yeah. come, we'll come back, or, you know, then we'll come and reply properly to those messages we missed after this episode. So... <laughs> oh, God! I'm sorry! Bar Dude, you, have, point. you have to rifle through his pockets. Oh wait, I don't remember how the- I don't remember my hotkeys with this guy. Okay. Yes I do, yes I do. Now I remember. I think I'm I do. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm just gonna ps, knock it back a little. What kind of shaman am I? Oh yeah, I'm elemental, that's right. Okay, cool. Did you get the things in his pockets? Okay, you're cool. You're alright. I got him now. Did you get this there quest with me? Oh wait, this is the Brewfest quest. Yep. Hey, he's looking at me, bum! Have you never heard the Brewfest song? Where at the nope. very end, the dwarf says, Hey, he's looking at me, bum! Uh, oh, you mean like the, the <laughs> just the, the sound when you're at Brewfest and you can hear like the ambience? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know they said that. <laughs> yeah, just like listen to the whole hey, thing. Me, bum. Hey, he's looking at me, bum! <laughs> listen to the whole thing all the way through. I love it. Did not know that. Let's probably pick up these quests on the way. Go for it. I'm going to drop this oh, one in the... All these Brewfest guys, you're throwing me off. Mm. How do they make these reefs bubble? Brewfest magic. Don't ask those questions. Okay. It's the power of alcohol. Power of alcohol, yeah. Gazlo. Welcome to Ratchet. Hope you're looking for work. Hi, level two. What level are you? <gasps> 16? How did you outlevel me, you heathen? Just skilled. Oh my goodness. I'm a faster learner. A faster learner, yeah. Warrior. Mm hmm. I'm a mighty shaman. I like to take my time with things. What way do you want to go? You want to go down to fight the pirates? <laughs> um, actually, yes. I like fighting the pirates. I like those quests. Let's well, go to. Uh, yeah, all these guys are Brewfest quests. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to put three Brewfest guys in one town? In a, in a tiny town at that. In a tiny town. Yeah. You're throwing me off, Blizzard. You're throwing me off. Should we set our hearthstone? Oh, yeah, we, we did last episode, didn't we? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm way ahead of you. All right. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, so... Um, what shall we talk about as we journey down the coast? What shall we talk about? Um, well, uh, you're almost done with your method videos, right? I am. I'm on the Archimon Guide now. Uh, I'm just finishing the sound editing. Mm. I'll put the video together, and then I'll be finished. And then I'll be back to making Machinima, for all those wondering. About time. About time, yeah. How long has it been since your last video? Like oh. three months. Whoa! Oh, where did this guy come from? Oh, goodness. Got my life, Theramore Commando. Jumped us. Oh, I just realized we're not in a group. Oh, yeah, we're not, are we? Ooh, ooh. Let's, let's sort that out. Bye. There you go. Okay, cool. You're the group leader. Whatever. I'm the leader. I keep thinking oh, I'm enhancement. But I'm not. Uh, so, yeah, as okay. we were saying, uh, so, yeah, I'm finishing up with the Archimon guides, mm -hmm. and I'll be back to making Machinima. I plan to do a sort of like little return video, just so people know that I'm not dead. Yeah. And then I'll get back to making more Nyx and Moo adventures, probably. Hmm. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't want to say too much about them, because I never really plan what order to do them in. I always just do what takes my fancy at the time. Well, well give us a spoiler. A spoiler? Yeah. Tell us, well, about, tell us about, like, a plan that you have. Maybe even, like, some a spoiler for me, too. I'll turn on my wild ball just a little bit. Okay. Just in case. It's too loud. All right, go on. Well, the first video I want to make is that nice little simple adventure I told you about. 
you know, where they go questing. They have to find a young man who's lost in <laughs> oh, yeah. Ashenvale. Yes. Yeah, exactly. But I don't want to say too much. Okay. But, yeah, so it's basically an adventure with Nix and Moo, and then obviously things don't always go according to plan. Mm hmm. Okay. What else? How about you? What else? <laughs> All it's right. Your turn now, Frank. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, looking ahead into the future, yeah, leveled. Ooh, let me move all that. What did I get? Wind shear. Let me actually put that just like that. Okay, cool. Unlock Shadowfang Keep. Yeah, not going there. Hey. <laughs> we can look at it. We could go there and just stare at it. Like, oh, wow. Like, oh, wow. How interesting. But that's where Aragul lived. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm getting distracted. I get all my excitement of leveling up. So, uh, for right now, um, I pretty much, um, for those that are, un are unaware, and that's going to be pretty much everybody, <laughs> except for you, Moo Cluck, mm -hmm. um, my, uh, my girlfriend, she's going to be here in America on, she's going to get here at near like the end of October, and she's going to be here for two weeks, and then at the end of those two weeks, I'm going to BlizzCon, or going to California for a week, pretty much. Ah, yes, you are. You're going to meet uh, Blizzard in the flesh. You're going to yeah. meet Mr. Blizzard. I'm going to meet Blizzard, like the Blizzard himself. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. And so that's that's three weeks. Uh, three weeks of like me not being around. And so um, for those that... I mean, if you kind of like put yourself in my shoes, it's kind of like, well, how do I explain this? If you're away from your channel for too long, I've learned and other YouTubers explain in videos and stuff, um, that can really, really hurt your channel, like big time. Mm -hmm. And so lately what I've been doing is I've been kind of trying to prepare for this long venture where I'm going to be gone and uh, I'll have like videos I can release um, while I'm up in the mountains because we're going up to the mountains. For, uh, two weeks or for a week and then we're gonna come back here and uh, you know while I'm in California mm -hmm. so kind of preparing for that um, I, I have pretty much everything planned out but I think the biggest uh, project I could spoil which I already did spoil on my um, on our bay interview is the mm -hmm. this is Halloween machinima video yes yes do you want to elaborate on that so well I mean it's not I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, if you've ever seen the movie Nightmare Before Christmas, which I'm assuming everybody has seen that movie, um, there's a this very first song that plays in it is "This Is Halloween," and there's multiple characters. And the plan with this video is it's actually something I've been wanting to make for a while. What are we supposed to do here? Deal struck with Baron Longshore? What do we do? Just talk to him. I'm gonna put mine on the finished part of the Pelopotent Hole. I so I guess. It, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Freedom, I did it. Okay. Um, so, pretty much my plan is to just uh, get, like, a bunch of YouTubers together and make, like, a big parody of this song, which I'm, I wanted to do it last year, but there was no time. And now this year, technically, there's no time, but mm -hmm. I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to try to do it. It's going to be kind of like my big project for the month of October. And then, um, yeah. And then... Because uh, it has been done before, right? Like a few years ago, like quite a while back. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so this is like the second iteration of it, right? Just for fun. Like, yeah, no, yeah. Not intending to like copy, but just because you think it's a fun project and you want to make it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, there is there is one video. Uh, there's a version of it, I think with like GG in it and a few other people. It didn't really get too many views though. I, I think Oxhorn's in it, you know. I think Oxhorn, yeah, I think he was in it too. Um, but uh, I just think it'd be a fun project, and I really, I really want to just have you know Nixium be the mayor, and uh, you know Jack and have Skellington his head spin around. have his head spin around, yeah, <laughs> and Jack Skellington he'll be uh, the headless horseman and like all that stuff. So uh, I just think it'll be a fun project, um, you know. To I really want to give it that Nixium and Mukluk touch, so that'll be fun. What are we doing here? Uh, attach it to the hole. So does that mean just outside? I don't know. The thinnest part of the hole. The thinnest part of the hole. Okay. I'm really bad at multitasking, by the way, so if I'm not explaining things well, I apologize. It's alright. While you're talking, I'll, I'll 
look around. Yeah, I'm trying to. Trying to <laughs> I'm just it. running around like, is it here? Is is it this bit? Is it uh, underneath? It might be underneath. Um, oh, oh. Charles. Well, yep, it's underneath. And it's part of the whole down here. Yeah, yeah. Jump down there. there we go. Thank you. We get you down there getting all wet. Mm -hmm. My guy did doing the all the work here. Oh, it's gonna detonate, dude! I'm on the I'm on the boat. It's gonna detonate. Get off quick! Alright, I'll be fine. Boom! Ow! It actually hurt me a little bit. <laughs> and that's the end of the greatest adventure. Charles that's is it. now dead. We did it. You went out. You're a martyr. Nah, man, I'm fine. Oh yeah. You're fine. I walked you're it off, dude. Look at that. Explosion. Oh my gosh! Look at that destruction. You see it? Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Do you see that? that they will never two... be able to piece that back together. <laughs> those, two, those two little smoke... Oh, they're gone. Oh. The alliance works quick. Oh. Yeah. Who? Gotta destroy these as well. <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, that's really all I can say about the Halloween video. I mean, other than that, um, I'm... At the moment, I'm working on a, a Hearthstone machinima. Because... Mm -hmm. um, People have told me for a while, and I even said in a video a while back that I would kind of do a little bit more Hearthstone-related stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could ever do something like, like, oh, watch me play Hearthstone and lose, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I like the idea of making machinima about the game. Um, yeah. You know, about jokes in it. And then also, uh, I recently, um, I've always, I've had the game for a while, but I've never, I've never played it until mm -hmm. yesterday. And uh, I started meddling around in, inside of Gary's mod a little bit, just to see how difficult is it to make a machinima in Gary's mod. And um, it's not too bad. It's different. I mean, it's a lot of stop motion animation, and you mm -hmm. know, there are mods to make it smoother, which I'm probably going to check out. Yep. But it's not too bad. Um, I made a little test video last night. Yeah, I saw it, and it was it was lovely. It was, wasn't it? The best 28 seconds of my life. Yes, I I, I put it on my Nixium Declassified Facebook page, so Ooh. some other people saw it. Uh, for those that don't know about that Facebook page, it's it's for Patreon uh, supporters only. So if you're if you're a patron, you get to see some of my secret videos. But if you're not, then you gotta wait. You gotta be in the secret club. You gotta be in the secret club. So. Yeah, patrons. It's just a way I kind of reward the patrons. I show them little teasers of videos before they come out and stuff like that. But I'm not here to promote my Patreon page. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I get to see them all for free. Yeah, you get to see them all for free. So, but that's pretty much it. Um, so, like, looking forward, I want to do that. This is Halloween. I want to do more Hearthstone videos. Maybe kind of touch Gmod a little bit. Uh, see what people think of that. Like, I was thinking about maybe doing a video where, like, like Mookluck and Nixium get bored of World of Warcraft. This is mm -hmm. very rough. Very rough. Um, they get bored of World of Warcraft, and Mookluck tells Nixium about this really fun game that he's been playing, and he takes Nixium to check it out. And it's Gmod, and Nixium's like, "Well, what do you do in this game?" And Mookluck's like, "Oh, you just summon guys, and you just like flail them around, and like just summons like a." A rag you make body. funny faces. And you make funny faces, yeah, I was gonna mention and that too. And you make the characters shoot poop everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, Sam makes a character flail around, and Nixon's like, wow, this game's dumb. And then Luke looks like, well, hold on, there's more you can do, check this out. And he mm -hmm. summons a garbage can and, like, the front piece of a vending machine. And, um, I don't know if you know where I'm going with this, but... <laughs> They, he summons a garbage can on the front end of a vending machine, and Nixium's like, well, what's that, this, what's that supposed to be? It's a garbage can and a piece of a vending machine. And Mukluk's like, no, wait, Nixium, wait, just watch what happens when I do this. And he kind of tilts the vending machine front at like a 45 degree angle, and he puts the, the garbage can on top of it. <laughs> and then he takes a soccer ball, and he puts it in the garbage can, puts a p stick of dynamite behind it, and it, it like, it's like a cannon. <laughs> and so like, it, it's, it shoots like this cannonball like out and Nixium is like blown away but like oh my gosh like you know it's it's a physics based game like that's really all it is you know yeah. just having fun with a physics engine mm -hmm. and so um, Nixium's like blown away and so some madness ensues like they start like bombing Stormwind with these Gary's mod like cannons and shit <laughs> I mean I don't know um, maybe something you gotta plan it all out of course yeah I mean this is Once all master it. this is all super rough I mean keep in mind I came up with this idea like a few minutes oh ago. <laughs> a few minutes ago. Yeah, like, you know, I was sitting here, like, before we started recording, and I was re-watching the Gary's Mod, like, little test video I made, and I was like, hmm, like, that looks pretty good. Like, I wonder how I could incorporate this, because I did uh, the Skyrim thing. 
Mm -hmm. or like it was like a WoW Machinima and then it turned into a Skyrim one. Yeah, yeah. So something similar to that. Um, and then if people are like, wow, that was really good, like the Gary's Mod thing, then I can make a standalone Gary's Mod thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do a Skyrim Machinima. Oh. It's pretty complicated. Fallout 4 coming out. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I've, I, I meddled with it and I realized that I kind of stepped into the dragon's lair. Yeah, yeah. Even, it would definitely have to be a side thing. Like, um, I gotta get the tattooed pirate head right here. I didn't get it. Oh, right. Go on. Yeah, because it was like a one thing. All right, go on. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd definitely like to do something with one of the uh, Bethesda games. Mm. I mean, I'm like a big fan of Elder Scrolls and Fallout, and I'd love to make something with them. Oh, definitely. Or even Grand Theft Auto as well, because Grand Theft Auto's got a pretty good, like, filming system in the game. Oh yeah, definitely. Now that I have my fast internet, I think, yeah, you were there when, uh, you were the one that told me, because I said, like, oh, dude, I'm gonna buy Grand Theft Auto, because it has this cool filming system, and you were like, you realize how big that game is, right? Oh, yeah, it's a massive game. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, how big is that? And I expected, like, four gigs or something, maybe five, and it was like, how big mm -hmm. is it? Like, 15, 12? Oh, it was bigger than that. 24? With patches and everything, I think it's near nearly fifty. I'm sure. But... Really? Oh yeah, yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, and I remember like, because on my previous internet that I just had replaced, I mean that would have taken like, that would have taken like a week to download. So I was like, man, fuck that. Like, <laughs> like, but now that I have fast internet, I mean, I've actually seriously given it some thought. But I've been spending so much money like preparing for you know my girlfriend's trip over here and, mm -hmm. um, you know getting you know BlizzCon, so I. You know, bought plane tickets to California, and like you know, I got you know, I just rented a cabin up in the mountains, all this stuff. So I kind of should be yeah. a little bit more careful with my spending. But um, all's well. I mean, all is mm. well. I'm not in debt. Or anything. So for those of uh, our viewers or listeners, in case they're tabbed out and playing a game, mm -hmm. uh, so you be. mentioned BlizzCon. Yeah, yeah. What would you uh, like to see at BlizzCon? Like, uh, obviously, stuff about the next expansion, of course. <laughs> uh, Let's I mean, not speculate too much about Legion, because yeah, we yeah, did that yeah. in a past video, but, like, is there anything BlizzCon. you'd like to see at BlizzCon, or, or meet anyone at BlizzCon? I definitely want to meet Terran Gregory. Um, yeah. You know, I talk to that mother hubber, like, all the time. Well, not all the time, but I, like, go on his uh, Twitch streams, and I, I stalk him, like the stalker that I am. Ooh. And, um... <laughs> oh, dude, I can get a staff. Gives me agility. That's just what yeah. I need. Hold on. I got a pair of gloves. Mm. Fortune. Oh, dude, the bling cane. Let's dig up his buried treasure from atop the hills overlooking Ratchet. I can do that. I'll, use, right. I'll use this staff in the meantime. Because I like staffs. Anyway, um, so things I would like to see at BlizzCon. Number one, um, I want to see Overwatch, and I want to mm -hmm. play it. I mean, yep. that's... Yeah, <laughs> I definitely want to play Overwatch. I want to check out that game, uh, you know and see, you know, how similar is it to Team Fortress 2. And, uh, yep. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's not, that's not an insult. It's not. I mean, Team Fortress 2 Team is Team Fortress 2 is a good game. Exactly. You know, so it's not like when people say, oh, it looks like Team Fortress 2. It's not really an insult. It's just kind of looks, kind of like it. It's the same kind of style. It's a team shooter. It's a team shooter. shooter. And you have different characters do different mm -hmm. things. It's, it's, yeah. It has a similar art style, all that stuff. But, yeah, yeah so I, I definitely want to see Overwatch. I want to check that out. Um, I really am looking forward to... I know they're going to make this like public to everybody, but it's going to be cool to actually see it in person. Uh, all the Warcraft movie stuff. Oh, of course. I actually like, see it in person. Um, mm -hmm. Like the trailer and the... Um, you know, all the other stuff. Let's see. I'm looking for his treasure chest. Did he give I think this is just the investigate one. This was a different quest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can do these quests and then head back to the other one. I think we gotta go to Gazlo's Fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Um, yeah, I'm just heading towards the nearest blue thing, you know, <laughs> as I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'll guide us. Can you talk and I'll guide? Okay, yeah, we'll take. I'll turns. steer the ship. Okay. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I want to see. I really am looking forward to. We mentioned it in the Legion video. I want to hear those new features that they're gonna talk about with Legion <laughs> yes. that they did not reveal uh, at Gamescon. Oh. There's that quest. Oh, yep. They're like, ah, oh, you know, there's going to be more features. We haven't even revealed the most exciting features yet. I want to see what those exciting features are, and I really hope yep. that they do deliver there. Um, not to say that Legion doesn't look pretty good already, as it is, but, I mean, I would love to see more, because yeah. I think, you know, I think it needs a little bit more, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, so I want to see that. Um, as for other people that I want to meet, by the way, uh, along with Taryn Gregory, uh, Nobble's going to be there. Oh. So I'm looking forward to meeting Nobble. Um, he's going to be really cool hanging out with him. Slightly Impressive is going to be there. Um, wow, Crendy, he's going to be there. So I might say hey to him, but I'm I'm pretty much assuming that Wow, Crendor is going to be hanging out with like Jesse Cox and all them, so he's probably not going to have too much time to hang out with me. Yeah, he'll be pretty busy with like Polaris guys and everything, yeah, I imagine. All, yeah, all those people, so... Um, yeah, I'm not expecting to hang out with him too Maybe you much. can wave to him. Crandall! Crandall. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to him. I'm sure I'll talk to him, but I don't know like how much we'll hang out. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, uh, Danger Dolan, he's going to be there. Hey, DD. Uh, yeah, Danger Dolan, he'll be there. Um, who else is going to be there that you know of? Uh, I know of. Yeah, you know of. Dude, Blizzard's going to be there. What Blizzard. about the Blizzard devs? What about the Great great Lord? Wait, I'm Neil for the... I'm Neil. Got a Neil yeah. for it. Got a Neil for, for the Great Metzen, of course. The Great Metzen in the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn my camera upwards. Yeah. There we go. Chris oh, Metzen. great Lord Chris Metzen. <laughs> I, I would love to meet him. I'd be like, hey, dude, have you ever seen the fact that I've made your your head into an epic may may in my Me videos? Me and this English guy on the internet keep using your head in our videos for yeah, no dude. reason. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh. And he'll be like, no, sorry. And then he just walks off. <laughs> He's like, no, man, I don't, I don't watch the YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy making a film. <laughs> yeah, I'm too busy making a movie. What does Chris Metzen do? He's vice president of Blizzard. I'm sure he's a busy man. What does he do? Business. Business. He doesn't really sound like a business guy. He's too, he's too <laughs> cool. He's too cool for school, if you know what I mean. I, I think he's a very good businessman. Mm -hmm. I think people probably think Chris is just like the the law guy, but I'm sure he's a better businessman than he is like... I guess. Uh, a, like a developer. He's a good artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are, we, what are we looking for? Oh, we're looking for ravagers. We're murdering raptors. Yeah, okay, two ravagers over there. I was looking for, like, the specifics, like, the names of the ones that we had to kill. Um, yeah, Chris Metzen. Yeah. So, I'm looking forward to see, seeing the almighty Chris, you know, mm -hmm. in person. That'll be pretty cool. I don't, I mean, I don't think I'll talk to him or anything, but if I do talk to him, that'd be pretty neat. Pretty dope. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll ask him, like I said, like, hey, dude, you seen the, uh, I turned your head into an epic may, -may like, on the internet, mm -hmm. sir? I won't be at BlizzCon, but I can tell you what I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, you're looking forward to the Q&A, where the guy yes. walks up and says, so what happened with Leech or, uh, with Warlords? No, 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 no. I I'm just looking forward to the people that think the Q&A panel is a good time to start their comedy careers. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my favorite, like, uh, like, nothing wrong with this, but some people, I, I don't know, like, you know, go up there like, hey, my name is, uh, like, if I did it, for example, like, <laughs> hey, man, uh, it's Nixium from Archie hey, Donahue, bro. uh, my guild is, uh, so-and-so, so-and-so, um, uh, you know, uh, shout out, shout out. You know, hear that one guy in the background. Woo! And it's like, yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, now, I have a question. Go sorry on. to interrupt you, dude. Now, remember at the start of the episode, we said there's a Night Elf Rogue following us around? Yes, yes, I was about to say that. There's a Samped Raptor. I know. Now, since we started recording, they have stayed invisible, but we can assure you they're around here somewhere. Yeah. I didn't this think This is that. creepy. I didn't think Where that. are you? <laughs> Where are you? Being watched from wonder, the shadows. I wonder if she followed us this entire time. Oh my god, that would be terrifying. Let's kill this anyway. raptor. Yeah. The great one. It's it's Chris Matson. He's the one it's that Chris Matson. It. He's watching over us. Yeah. The Lord you, in the sky. Oh Lord Chris. Let's see. But yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, just seeing the people go up and ask their questions. It's interesting to see what responses they get. You think you want that? There you go. Uh, but that you don't raptor want. over there was just sapped. <gasps> so spooky. You're right. here somewhere. We don't oh, need we're all done. We don't need any more though. Let's, let's get out of here. This place is haunted. This is ghosts. Thornhill is haunted. It's a rife. Run. Let's get out of here. Run this way. Yeah, you were saying like yeah, the people that go up and they're like. um... Hey, it's me, badass warrior from <laughs> whatever server, and it's like, oh, please don't do that. Please, from badass EU. <laughs> yeah. 
for the badass guild named Badass. Badassery. <laughs> Bad <laughs> badassery. No, please stop. Please. Yeah, please. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> please stop, you're hurting me. Dude, I love those guys, and at the same time, it's just so... Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've seen a few of the people go up there and say that. And they'll like they'll say their name, the guild, the server, all that stuff, and then they'll like pause for a second as if expecting someone yeah. to like cheer, and no one says anything. And then they go, "Okay, so," <laughs> and then they ask yeah. their question. I guess for any advice, if anyone's thinking of going to BlizzCon and actually asking a question, is, is just go up and just ask your question, say hello, and then ask your question. Like, it's probably the best thing to do, mm -hmm. just so you don't appear like an asshole. Mm -hmm. You don't want to embarrass yourself. Just go up, say, hey, where's Madan? Where's Madan? And just get yeah. your standard Blizzard answer, and then, <laughs> then go back to the crowd. No, we have, we have a lot of plans. <laughs> we have a lot of plans for Madan. We have a lot of plans for Madan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, whatever you say, Wizard. Whatever you say. Dude, look at this. Have you ever oh. seen this before? Look. Is that a cub? This cheetah is dead in this oh. little cub. Oh, it's, it faded away. Oh. No evidence. Okay. I thought, like, for example, I thought that was, like, like a permanently dead NPC with a little cub walking around it, and you kind of, you know, like, save the cub because its mother was killed or something by an evil orc. It was almost heartbreaking. I know, but then... No, it wasn't. Doing level 17 now. Man, I'm moving on up in the world. Hey. New pair of pants. Let's go Put turn those this quest on. in. I did. For agility, that's just what I need. I don't care. I'm picking up anything at this point. Mm -hmm. Why you talk to me? Talk to me! That's a good pair of shoes, actually. Nice. I'm glad I, I, I could help. Two intellect, three stamina, two critical strike. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! It's Nixium Mookluck the Seeker! Oh no! Hey! We've been discovered. <laughs> hey, friend. He's come here. He's gonna kill all of our mobs. You watch. Ahoy! Ahoy! He's a pirate. He is. Arr. What's the name of his his pet? Marrow stealer. Yeah. Marrow stealer. He's gonna steal your marrows. Yeah. Straight out from your bones. Your Marios. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Let's quick. Let's get out oh. of here before he follows what a us. Nice visit. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here. He's gonna kill our mobs and follow us around and ask for our underwear. We already have one, that one stalker person. in the shadows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm surprised, like, people... Well, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> How do we get up you there? You underestimated the internet. I guess I uh... do. What's the fastest way to get up there? To go this way or go this way? You just walk up this rock? Mm, I don't think you can, no. No. I know there's like a path that leads up there uh, over in the pirate area which I'm assuming that's the point because you know we just got sent over here so we're probably going to get sent over here again so that makes well, sense we can go back around or we can go back around what do you think yeah. where will I the adventure take go, us I say this way well, we could it. split up see which right. way let's go right, let's go let's go we'll cover more ground we'll cover more ground yeah split up and search for clues hmm can we survive in the wilds on our own? I think we can. I also got uh, I got Raptor Punch. Mm -hmm. Raptor drink that. Punch. Yeah, plus four. Oh, I thought you meant as like a move. I was like, what the hell? How kind of shaman move is that? You just use <laughs> punch it to a punch raptor, raptors. man. Yeah. Okay, so I've managed to. I'm almost to the top of the mountain. Uh, I'm just running into a little bit of a conundrum, but I'm I'm getting there. I promise. I'm passing a. Weapon sales. I think I did it. You did it. I did it. I'm at the top of the mountain. Uh, it's all right, you know. You could have you could have followed the leader, but uh, you know, I guess you know, being a rebel and all that. You know, well, I like the more scenic route. The more scenic route, yeah. By the time we meet again, I will have experienced more than you have. Hmm, I'll be course. wiser. Dude, there's like a million barons vultures up here, and there's a little lone coda here, and a bunch of raptors. Wow, there are. You're gonna have to walk through all of that. I dodged it. I'm a pro. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm just walking on the left side. I got it. Wait, hold it, Torin. I promised. Wait, I told you where the treasure is, but never promised you could keep it. Oh no, I'm under attack by two guys. Oh, see, if I were the, 
I would have known that this would happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, they're almost dead. Dude, uh, Gregory! I'm save here to me. save you! Save me from this evil woman. Uh, Back. Long time no see. We did it. Alright, I'll see ya. <laughs> Long time no see. Oh, I've got to be ambushed now. Long no, minute no see. see. What else? Uh, oh, talking about BlizzCon, talking about the future of the channel, blah, blah, blah. Oh my goodness, it's Have, a trap. Here's a, here's a question for you, Mooclock. I'm going to ask you a question now, so uh -oh. that we're not just talking about boring leveling crap like a regular Let's Play. Okay. Um, here's a question for you. Have you ever, you know, because, you know, you, you know, mostly just do Machinima and stuff. Well, that's all you do, actually. Um, oh, wow. Ha well, that is, wow. All, that is all you do. That is all, <laughs> that is all you do on your channel. Oh, that, wow. That is all you hey, do. Hey, I have you know, there's two Let's Plays on my channel. Oh, sorry. Yeah, hey. except those Napoleonic Wars. But that was actually what I was going <laughs> to get into. I was going to... I was going to ask, have you ever thought about um, expanding your channel into maybe uh, discussions, let's plays, top tens, whatever, anything? Not top tens. Not top We're tens. Cut that <laughs> off right now. No, okay. no, not a top ten. There's already enough top ten channels on the internet. Yeah, yeah. And if I did a top ten list right now, I can guarantee you the comments I would get would be, why are you this copying was great. Nixium? Why are you copying Nixium? <laughs> I fucking love lists! Yeah, oh. no. I don't know. People, uh, people so... like top tens. But yeah, yeah. I mean, have you ever thought of doing that? That way, for, you know, the people that are always like, man, I want to see more Mookluck. I want to see more Mooklucky, you know, in my life. Um, um, they can be more satisfied. Have you ever thought of doing that? I don't know. Well, I like Machinima. I'd rather expand into other games to do Machinima on. Hmm. Um, more so than doing, like, discussion videos. I mean, like, I don't really know what I could talk about. I'm no expert on the game, and I don't really style myself as, like, a news channel. Like, I'm not the most informed player. Like, I just play, like, I'm having fun with this game. That's fine for me. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Um, I probably do Q&As. I mean, like, I know a lot of people ask questions, and they're curious about what I do, and anything like that. So I'll do one of those eventually. Um... Let's plays now. It, let's plays are an interesting thing, right? Because you want to go this I way, think, by the way. Uh, yeah. What well, we gotta do over here? Board yeah. the riverboat. I'll steer okay. the ship. Go on. Yep. Go on. Steer the ship. Okay. Uh, let's plays on the internet. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are just sick of them now because <laughs> YouTube is just oversaturated. Yeah, yeah, it's like let's plays every single corner. Some guy with a webcam sticking his face in the corner of the screen and talking obnoxiously over a game, right? Not like what we're doing right now, because we don't have a webcam. This is, so this is different. We have old Western music. Yeah, it's completely different. This yeah. is new. This is new and exciting. Um, we bring guests on and stuff. Yeah. This is new. Go on. Yeah. But yeah, um, I I don't know. Let's Plays, it, it would be quite a shift to do something like... I, I'd like to do something, uh, you know, like similar to what Donkey does, where you get the footage and then you make uh, a comedy routine kind of out of it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, bye. 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 There was oh, only that's... there was only room for one. This is, this is like the smallest and like this shallowest river like ever. I love this boat. Why can't we have that South Sea expansion with the boats? <laughs> yeah. Love this. Sail up the rivers. Yeah. Alright, go on. Boat. Uh but yeah, like I would do something I'd like to do something I know, if I did gameplay videos. Hmm. Something a bit more funny with them. I wouldn't want to just sit there and play a game. Like, yeah. that's so dull. Yeah. Um, in time, maybe, like, uh, this isn't, like, going to be a new thing. Like, this isn't going to be, like, something I do next week. Hmm. But I would really like to do game reviews at some point. Yeah. Not, like, long ones. Maybe just, like, little condensed videos. Uh, you know, say a few things and and give a recommendation rather than a score. This game sucked. Yeah, but fucking 0 out of 10, this game sucked. Yeah. Skyrim. Yeah, I remember you telling me about the whole, like, your opinions on, like, the whole scoring system. Like, oh, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, you know, all that Yeah, stuff. anything that receives, like, lower than an 8 out of 10 on a lot of websites, people seem to sort of pass up as, like, oh, that game's probably not worth the money then. Yeah. Uh, and I have to admit, like, I probably do that as well. Like, I often find myself going, well, it's lower than an 8, you know, 7 out of 10. Oh, that's not great. Yeah. When really, the game could be pretty good. 
and it's being you know cut short because of the score hmm. um so really i think the best thing to do is just like give it a recommendation but then maybe say something like uh but only purchase this game maybe when it drops in price or you know when it's on sale you know, something like that yeah yeah of course um besides that what other content would i like to do um I'd really like to do movie reviews. That was actually something. Movie I, reviews? Yeah, I've wanted to do movie reviews ever since, like, man, like, maybe like two years ago when I was, like, just, like, getting more serious on YouTube and stuff. P pretty much when I met you. Oh, right. Um, you know, I don't actually, I don't even know how long ago was it when I met you. But, yeah, I've always like wanted to do end movie of reviews. 2013, I think. Yeah, I mean, I could, I mean, when it comes to, like, discussions similar to what you said, like, I could never do, like, a a true discussion video, like, oh, like, about, like, the mechanics and everything of the game, because, you know, I don't really, even when I do do discussion videos, like, I kind of keep them more, like, fun and simple, just mm -hmm. because, where are we turning this in at? We're oh, taking yeah. the wrong turn. Yeah, we're going this way. I'm, I'm just talking. Um, I um, steer. You steer the ship. Um... What was I what was I talking about? Uh, uh, you don't want to do discussion videos. Oh, yeah, but... yeah, discussion videos. Yeah, yeah, because, like, for me, a lot of my opinions about, like, you know, WoW and, you know, video games kind of come from a more, um, I guess, a more, like, role player's standpoint in a lot of ways. I Not, not really, like, a role player, like, in terms of, like, someone who sits there and like, you know, does the emotes and all that stuff and, you know, whatever, but more of, like, a person trying to get immersed into the game, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th that's why, I, like, I talked about how I like, you know, class variety and, like, all that stuff and different ways to play your class, different ways to customize your class, like, things like that. Um, I get no so, hold on a second. Stay strong, so I don't have any, like, really, like, true, strong opinions on, like, you know, high-end PvP or, like, you know, mythic raiding. I don't really have any, like, strong opinions on that because I don't do either of those things. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just play the game casually and, you know, enjoy my World of Warcraft. Oh, exactly. Well, we were on uh, Final Boss, like, a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. And Final Boss, of course, is, like, uh, primarily for, like, high-end raiders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the episode we were on, of course, was, like, a special. Um, yeah, like, I mean, I've done heroic raiding in World of Zadranor. I've only touched Mythic very briefly. Yeah. So I can't really have a whole discussion about what it's like to be a Mythic raider. Yeah. I could I could tell you what how to be a decent player. Yeah, yeah. Like just just to be the bare basic. Yeah. yeah. But I couldn't tell you how to be like top end. Yeah. yeah. So I I wouldn't like to do you know discussions videos on you know raiding in general because I'm no expert and I, I don't like talking about things in which I'm not very well informed. Exactly. That's actually you know. I mean I've talked about it in a few. Uh, in a few episodes and even in the novel episode we talked a bit about it like even like something like Warcraft lore like I'm, I'm very well versed in Warcraft lore having mm -hmm. read like most of the books and everything and uh ooh, muddy track ooh. and uh but even like lore videos I've always just been kind of like hmm you know maybe I don't really want to touch that because of uh because well you know what if I get something wrong or whatever maybe I forgot something since it's been a long time since I've read the books and stuff yeah um, but speaking of lore videos uh, once we're done with this topic I actually do have something to say which I should have talked about earlier okay um, you want to add anything before we move um, on uh, I just noticed the Norway stamps behind us so we still have a friend following us where it was over oh, there. I see it. Yeah, it's yeah. no longer sap now, but yeah, oh, so that one now. There's another one. There. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> um, what I was gonna say was two things. I was gonna say uh, number one, just expanding on the movie review thing. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I read a lot. I watch a ton of movies. Movies and being like a film critic, that's something I really, really enjoy. Mm. Um, so I've always wanted to do movie reviews. But what I was gonna talk about is um a while back. I mentioned in one of our greatest adventures, I talked about a poll that I put out for like mm -hmm. the fans to reply to, like, oh, what kind of video would you like to see, or what kind of content would you like to see on my channel? And the, the highest rated thing was uh, people wanted to see lore videos. 
And I talked about it was our lazy peon one. I talked yeah. about the uh, like, oh, I'm not really sure exactly how to do it. But lately, I have been kind of finalizing my like plan of like, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it. I've even written like not all of the script, but like a huge majority of it. Mm -hmm. And um, the idea, I mean, I've told Mooclock about it, obviously. But the idea that I have... Oh, I have to pretend to be surprised. Oh, yeah, Yeah, wow. be, su be surprised. Oh, wow. so, How interesting. How interesting. Tell Do me go more. on. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the idea that I've had um, is pretty big. Like, these these lore videos I'm planning to make... Um, uh, I mean, this, like, first episode... Episode, mind you, episode... Uh, will probably be, like... I mean, how long do you think that video will end up being? Like, 20 minutes? 25 minutes, maybe? 20, 25 minutes, like, long. And this is this is not, like, a lore video, like, where I, like, talk about lore. Like, uh, like you know, Noble does. This is actually a machinima. Like, a 25-minute, like, lore machinima. Um, in order to do that, uh, most of the vast majority of it will be recorded in-game. Similar to the Warlock. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, it's a big script. Um, if you want a spoiler as to what subject I'm touching first, it's going to be uh, Thessarian, if you know who that is. And if you don't, go look him up. And uh, we're going to be exploring his quest line. In a guardian Tundra. angel is guiding us. I know. Your guardian angel. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that was something I was supposed to talk about earlier when we were talking about the future and stuff. Mm. Um, but yeah, so lore videos, more of those definitely coming in the future. Sorry, Guardian Angel, we're going this way. We have to go down there at the bottom of the lake, by the way, and get that sludge pile. Ah, okay. Let's do that. Alright. And we have to go up, I think. Mm. Uh, I suppose I should have brought this up during, like, a uh, discussion with Noble. Maybe I'll bring it up if we ever have him back, but, um... Sure we will. Like, something that's... Something that's always put me off of WoW lore is the fact that so much of it is in, like, these books mm. between, uh, expansions. Like... Ew. Oh. Dad! Oh my goodness. What a scary thing. But I mean, like, um... Like, for instance, Warlords of Draenor. Uh, mm. War Crimes, right? Yeah. That was the book that tied into the launch of, uh... Warlords. Yeah. And that basically explains how Garrosh went from being arrested in that throne room at the end of Siege of Orgrimmar mm. to traveling back in time to an alternate universe. Mm -hmm. And yet, if you didn't read that book... So, let's say you've been playing Mr. Pandaria, and you've done that raid, but you're not that clued up on the lore. Mm -hmm. The last you saw of Garrosh, he was getting led away by Taran Zoo. Now all of a sudden he's in an alternate dimension yeah. and it's like... Uh, what? Yeah. So that's something that's always put me off of WoW lore, is it's like uh, if you want to know the full story, buy the book. And it's like, I don't want to buy your book. Hmm. Or just browse Wowpedia. <laughs> or just browse Wowpedia. Mm -hmm. How in the heck pirate. is there a muddy footprint on a wooden thing. Okay. I guess his feet were just really muddy. Really muddy. Yeah, and they just left those big footprints. I mean, we're he was a mud creature. Yeah, yeah, we got the key ignition key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, back right. down to the robot. Let's do Whee! it. Psh. Sploosh. Skaboosh. Alright, go on. Put you uh, off. You know, a good, you know a good bit of lore, though. I, I know I know a decent amount of lore. I'm no expert. I'm no noble. Mm -hmm. So, no I... I know enough to keep up. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll tell you one I've thing. I've only read a few select, a few of the books. Like, a lot of them just... I don't know, like, I'm not interested in war crimes. Like, I, I, I you know, like, okay, Garrosh, Garrosh was on trial. Did they kill him? No. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Then he got away and he went back in time. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I feel that, like, one thing that World of Warcraft is lacking in terms of its allure is, I mean, it's something that I would really, really like to see. I actually have to comment about it on, um... That's better than what I have, no they're not. Um, I'll have to comment about it. Remember Blizzard recently put out a... A, uh... Oh, what was it? That... It was a trailer for, like, this art book, or whatever? Or... Uh, we actually um, failed a quest, the escape. Oh, I think we were meant to escort uh, the thing. Because uh, oh. I've still got a hand into it. Oops. Yeah. Uh. See... Abandon it. Abandon it? Yeah. No, no, I have to still hand in the key. Oh. 
Let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, Let's so... Let's go, there's a heckle fang hyena to slay. Well, we have to go, uh... Where are the, down, way down there? Well, we also have to go turn these quests in, they're just right here. Oh, yeah. I mean, might as well. Um... Okay. What I was gonna say is like Blizzard put out a, a a trailer recently for like a a book or a it was like maybe an animated series or something. I left a comment on it. It was on the uh, main World of Warcraft channel, <laughs> and it was it was something lore related. It was gonna like be like kind of this final like book that would explain the history of the races and like all mm. this stuff. Like the finalized is it the chronicle. Like, the chronicle. Is it that's it. Or something like that. The chronicle. Yeah. I don't think that's the name, but I think it's something like Warcraft Chronicles. Yeah, or... yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. And um, I left a comment, and it's true. Like one thing I would really like to see Blizzard um, expand upon is because we don't have class quests or anything in the game to explain this to us anymore. I really want them to expand on like how exactly does like like how does a warlock work? How does a druid work? How are these people trained? What do they do? Oh, I could get a chess piece, but alas, I have to sell it. Security. Um, you know what does what does a what sort of ritual does a druid undergo to find one of their animal totems? You now, like yeah. these these sorts of things. Um, I know a lot of people don't you know give a shit about that <laughs> sort of thing, but um, for me. When it comes to you know lore in any kind of universe, it's one reason why I like Tolkien so much. I like the details. Like give yeah. me lots of the details to create the depth and make the world feel very realistic. That's um, what I really like about Elder Scrolls, though. I, I um, was I was actually gonna say that, um, <laughs> but I, I kept like letting you. I just would be like, you know, blah blah, and then I'd let you keep talking. I was gonna oh, say sorry. if there's one thing that Moo Clock does know, it is his Elder Scrolls lore. Yeah, too, too much probably. Mm -hmm. But um, tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, I, uh, I I'll, I'll cite one as an example. Otherwise, I'll be dragging on forever. And you know, people are watching this for a while, not for Elder Scrolls, right? But like nah. um, <laughs> but like uh, a big difference between Elder Scrolls lore and uh, WoW lore to me is just like how everything in WoW. Oh, oh, oh! There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hey, the Guardian Angel. The Guardian Angel. Hey. Oh, what was that one song? That one hipster song I listened to as a teenager? Um, when I see your smile, tears roll down my face. It was called Your Guardian Angel by, like, who gives a shit? It's crazy fun. Dude, she's going to take a selfie. Let selfie. me take a selfie. Just let me take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Should I take a selfie? You can take a selfie if you want. Oh, I got to turn a little bit. Selfie camera. Oh my gosh, twirling looks like an idiot. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Keep dancing. Okay. Oh, I was talking Try to my I was talking to my guy. Oh alright. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough selfies. Okay. Leave right. vehicle. Get out. Okay. I can't leave the vehicle. Please. There we go. <laughs> Please! Let me out of this crazy thing. My goodness. Look at that ass. Anyway. Oh. Let's continue. Let's continue. Bye. Fare thee well. Goodbye. Oh, we should kill these hyenas. Dude, she flirted with me. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Uh, you can't handle this beef, if you know what I mean. <laughs> kill Red Torrin. This rump? You want this rump? This, this rump? This fine steak? See rump? But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, um. Elder Scrolls lore. What you like yeah, about I, it? I was going to say that what I like about Elder Scrolls lore and what I dislike about WoW lore is how, in WoW, uh, everything in the lore is explained. Yeah. Like, if I say to you, uh, Nixium, who, hey. who who created Azeroth? Did Thrall. Yeah, of course it was Thrall. <laughs> but if you were, like, going to give, like, the actual lore answer, you'd say, like, the Titans. Right? What do you mean the actual lore answer? Maybe the actual lore answer. The Chris Madsen answer. Oh, okay. Thrall. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, so the Titans created everything, and then it's like, oh, well, how did how did life come to be? And it's like, oh, well, the constructs of the Titans were afflicted by the curse of flesh, and they became this. dwarves, gnomes, yeah. humans, and then other races, they have other origins. But in Elder Scrolls, it's a lot more vague, yeah. where it's like, um, no one really knows how the world came into being, but different races on the planet have different beliefs. 
and yeah. they all worship different gods and uh, a lot of the strife between races is caused by you know like uh, what they believe religious tensions and mm. you know things like that like uh, let me see like one example would be that uh, oh, in Elder Scrolls yeah. men believe that there's a god called Lorcan who is dead mm. uh, men revere him because they believe he created uh, mankind from nothing and that they completely owe their existence to Lorcan mm. or, or as the humans call him Shaw yeah. the elves on the other hand like the high elves they see Lorcan as a trickster that he tricked the other gods into giving up their divinity in order to create the world and that they are descended from the gods and it's because of Lorcan that they no longer have their immortality mm. and obviously that brings them into conflict with the humans and you see it's kind of like setting up the whole world as to why like races dislike each other their different beliefs yeah, you yeah know. definitely whereas in wow like i mean what's why do the horde and lions keep fighting each other Re is it just resources they just don't like each other. They just don't like each other. But why? Like, they have similar beliefs by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. Some of them believe in the light. Some Dude. of them are shamans. Look at this. Banana. Banana. <laughs> this... Banana. <laughs> just a golden banana. Hmm. But yeah, anyway, Fun. that's... Uh, but yeah, that's what I was saying. And there's a lot of symbolism in, like, Elder Scrolls lore as well. Mm -hmm. Like, um... Like I say, with the Titans, we already kind of know a lot about them. Mm. It's like, oh, we built the, they built the world, and that's it. Mm. Uh, with Elder Scrolls lore, it's like, did the gods create the world, or was it something else? Was it uh, the Daedra, mm. or like Elder Scrolls equivalent of demons? Mm -hmm. uh, one story I like is about how, like, I think it's, I think the gods called Mag Magnus, or Mag yeah, Magnus, in uh, Elder Scrolls, and it's uh, there's like a lot of, like I say, a lot of symbolism, where like he was one of the gods that took part in creation, but he realized he was being tricked, or he was having his power reduced, and when he fled from the mortal plane, he ripped a hole in the sky, and that became the sun. Now, of course, like you think about that, that doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> but it's like it's symbolism. It's the idea of like. Oh, the gods, you know, he didn't... Did he actually do that? Or, or you know, is it all just a made-up load of nonsense? Well, and it all ties into the into the world. Like, it's all part of, like, uh, races' beliefs, their religion. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I like about it. It gives a lot of depth to the different races that inhabit uh, Nern. Yeah. In the well, Elder Scrolls. Well, it's a myth. Yeah, I mean, exactly. a, lot of, a lot of people don't understand what a myth is. Mm -hmm. I mean, a myth is a way of conveying a truth by using a fantastical means that can be passed down. Yeah. I mean, it is supposed to be symbolism. So, I mean, it's just like real mythology. Like, you know, you're talking about, like, oh, did he, he ripped a hole in the sky. That sounds ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But there's a, there's a point behind that story. There's a yeah. meaning behind it. What is it? Well, that you need to figure that out, pretty much. Um, yeah, exactly. What are we supposed to do here? Oh, yeah, kill Sniggles. Beat this guy up. Sniggles. Like yeah, if it name. was WoW, it would be... This so, happened. how did... Yeah, this happens. And it's like... How, how did the world come into, be, uh, come into being? It's like, Titans made it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. And that's it. There's no, like, extra depth to it. There's yeah, no yeah, mythology. Yeah, yeah. It's just, this happened. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would say that WoW lore is very, very straightforward and easy to read. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I do... I, I, I don't know too much about Elder Scrolls lore. I mean, I know a good chunk i mean i know as much as like you know kind of your casual player yeah. um i know that skyrim belongs to the nords i can tell you that uh, oh does it it does and um oh. <laughs> well frick stormcloak is the true high king even if he's a brat <laughs> um i see that sapped guy out there <laughs> um what was i gonna say uh but yeah i mean i definitely i'm i'm a huge fan of like symbolic lore and whatnot i mean uh, uh we didn't really get to go too much into it in the uh, episode with the novel because you know he had to go and hang yeah. out with his beloved but um we uh i mentioned that i really like lord of the rings and I, I like lord of the rings for the same reason you like um elder scrolls lore uh, i think the the only difference would be lord of the rings has a lot of symbolism and metaphors that relates to real life mm -hmm. um in the real world 
and uh, rather than being, you know, a strict symbolism for just the game world, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I, I, I tell people, I mean, my thing that I explain to people is if you watched the Lord of the Rings movies or if you read the book and you thought it was about two hobbits taking a ring to a mountain, you completely missed the point. Like, it was about how love... <laughs> how love, how love can save us all. Yeah, <laughs> there's there's a lot Share of that. Share the load. Share the load, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, weary, weary Share traveler. The load, I'm Mr. so weary. Pro Share the load. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely a lot going on in Tolkien's universe. Um, and I like all I like all the poems and the songs. I, was, yeah. I talked to this one this one female one time at work. Yeah. And she, we were talking about Lord of the Rings. She's like, oh, I love Lord of the Rings. And I was like, oh, have you ever read the books? And she's like, no. And I was like, and she's like, <laughs> she what? Was I... like, Get out of here, you fucking nerd. <laughs> and I was like, it's like, have you ever read the books? She's like, oh no, but I was thinking about reading them. And I was like, oh really? And then, uh, you want to do it? Yep, let's do it. Okay. I was like, uh, she's like, yeah, I was thinking about reading it. And I was like, get ready to read a lot of poetry. She's like, poetry. I was like, dude, that's like all the book is. Just a bunch of poems. Although it's. The first book has a lot of poems in it. Second one has a bit, and then the third one doesn't have too much. It has a bit, but it's kind of like you know, the first book is more merry and upbeat compared to the other two. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. anyway, I'll, I won't rant too much about that. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it back to WoW because I'm sure it. a lot of people are like, "Jesus Christ, who fucking cares about Elder Scrolls and Lord of the Rings? I don't play those games." You expect us to read? <laughs> Listen. Shut up. <laughs> So, yeah. Alright, so World of Warcraft. Yeah, World of Warcraft's lore is straightforward. Doesn't mean that's not a bad thing. Doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah, I, I, I just in case anyone's getting that impression, like, I still like WoW lore. I just prefer Elder Scrolls. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. WoW lore is very accessible and kind of, like, you know, friendly to everybody, I guess. Mm -hmm. Whereas other games are a little bit more, like... Um, WoW has a lot more colorful characters than Elder Scrolls as well. Really, the only yeah, colorful characters... Like literal Elder colorful Scrolls characters. Is the, yeah, the Daedric Princes. <laughs> Everyone else in the world is like... Mm. Dude, I mean, WoW has green people and blue people and purple people and red people. I mean, <laughs> yeah, lots of colorful people. people. Space goat people. Mm -hmm. Lots of colors. There's All the colors. Stolen Shredder. Stop it. Okay. Stop, Stop it! Stop it! Got a few levels here. We're actually over an hour right now recorded, by the way. I've been oh, are we? Time. I guess we should bring this to an end. I'm yeah, all touched should... out in this adventuring. We, we need... Yeah, yeah, let's see. Anything we could kind of end on, I think we'll go and like turn those quests back into that little place, and then we'll wrap it up there. Okay, let's see where this guy is going first. Um, I was actually thinking, like, while you were explaining the Elder Scrolls lore, um, mm -hmm. I was thinking about, uh, like, in future episodes in regards to the mail, um, just because, mm -hmm. you know, my mail icon is still up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, in future episodes in regards to the mail, it might be a good idea, I think, um... That oh, we... that it? He didn't uh, even escape. You're useless. You're useless, Whistle uh, Crank. Whistle Crank. Okay. I'll find my way back on my own. All right, dude. See ya. Gets eaten by a hyena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say that maybe like what we should do is maybe at the end of every episode we'll do like a mail time where we like read all the letters and all that stuff. Why don't uh, we? We could do an episode on its own. Like, uh, just a little short... Yeah, like, one where we don't even go adventuring. We could just read the mail. <laughs> the greatest mailbox. The greatest <laughs> the greatest mail episode. We could title it, like, the greatest mail opening episode. The, the greatest mail opening adventurer. Because <laughs> adventure. we might get quite a few of them. Yeah, yeah. And we, maybe we can take a few questions from, like, the comment section, and we can answer them then as well. Like, we'll just sit around in a tavern or something. Yeah, we could If do. people want to watch that, I mean... If yeah, people are could. even watching this, they're probably playing a game at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, we could we could do something like that. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know, I mean, as long as there's not too many letters, I mean, if there's like f like 50 plus, I was thinking like maybe like, like I said, like the last bit of the, you know, the episode could be the mail time where we yeah. sit down and answer letters for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. And yada yada, because I just don't want, I don't want people to feel like we're, you know, ignoring, ignoring them. them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because yeah. there's, you know, I know for a fact that, you know, if, if I sent someone a letter and they were doing a leveling series like this and I didn't pick their letter or like the person didn't pick my letter, excuse me, I'm getting mm. confused. 
um, catch you on the flip side, that I'd be like, oh no, he didn't pick my letter, he didn't get my mm. letter, you know, so, yeah. Oh, they sapped her quest giver. That's yeah. just mean. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. Put those things on. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, I'd be happy to do that. Like, uh, I didn't mean earlier on, where, like, uh, I could only read out a couple because we had to get going. But I'll reply to you all, those of you that have sent me mail. I'm going to do it after we finish recording. I'll send you little notes in the mail. Mm. I mean, if you want, we could we could just do that. Like, right now. Just go back be like, hey, guys, you know, we're pretty much done. We're just going to reply to messages now if you want to. All right. Know. I mean. Oh, no, my, my house don't set the crossroads. Uh, just fly to Ratchet. It's not that far away. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, and in the meantime, I'll reply to my letters. Um, just because, I don't know, I and mean, I would rather, you know, if, if I sent someone a letter, I would rather them reply in voice than just through, you know, hey, thanks for messaging me, <laughs> you know, on a, like some typing. You know, oh, you can Oh, okay, fine. Fine. That's well, how it's going to be. If I, if I get a piece of shit. <laughs> that's just my opinion. Okay, you know. Like, if I, I sent... Who is a YouTuber I like? If I sent... If I sent Filthy Frank, you know... <laughs> A message. If I, I would... sent DSP a message. If I sent Dark Side oh, Phil a message, be, I would be heartbroken. Yeah, he needs to reply like in voice right. rather than through text. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reply. So, okay, guys, yeah. the greatest adventure episode's over. We're gonna do mail time right now. Okay, so if you want to listen, you can listen. And but if you don't, well, cool. But here we go. Uh, first of all, let me get rid of uh, this message. All right. Number one, this is from uh, Tarok. He says, I have a question. What was your favorite raid from BC Vanilla Wrath of the Lich King and so on? P.S. Take some copper, you poor fuck. P.P.P.S. <laughs> no hate, just my humor. P.P.P.S. I like you too, Moo Clucking, but I can't bother sending to both you guys. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you selfish bastard. He also he sent me a worn dirk. Little oh. dagger. Thank you. Um, so we'll just kind of keep their responses quick. Uh, my favorite raid from Vanilla, BC, Wrath, and Cataclysm and Mists. Um, Vanilla WoW, favorite raid, uh, probably, uh, Anixia's Lair. I like Anixia's Lair. Um, Burning Crusade, favorite raid, Karazhan. Loved Karazhan. Um, Wrath of the Lich King, favorite raid, I really liked Naxxramas. Even though it was really easy, I did like Nax. Um, I know a lot of people will say Ulduar, but I I just have fond memories of Nax. I'm not saying it was the best raid. I just have fond memories from it. That's why it's my favorite, you know. But I wouldn't say it's the best. Um, and Cataclysm, I didn't raid in Cataclysm. I didn't. I've never even stepped in one of those raids. Uh, Miss of Pandaria, I would say my favorite raid from there was um, probably Throne of Thunder. Mm -hmm. And um, in Warlords of Draenor, favorite raid. Uh, 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 I mean, I didn't, I didn't really rage in Warlords, so I don't really have too much to say there. I'll tell you now, Foundry was great. Foundry, I did do Foundry, like, on LFR, but, yeah. so, you know, that doesn't really count. But, <laughs> what about you, real fast? Oh, my favorites from Vanilla <laughs> and Burning Crusade? Yeah, yeah. I didn't play any. Well, I mean, I know, but, <laughs> just like, well, you um, know, like, I didn't get to raid in Vanilla, but I just, you know. You know. I mean, like, if I ran them for transmogs, I really liked Blackwing Lair. I mean, well, I mean, old uh, Nax has disappeared, hmm. but uh, I enjoyed that in Wrath, but it wasn't my favorite in Wrath. Uh, Funny Crusades. Um, uh, what were the ones in Funny Crusade? Uh, I kind of liked the Sun well, mainly because of Kill Jaden and you get to flush yeah, him yeah. down the toilet at the end. <laughs> yeah. um, Wrath Lich King, all the All the war, yep. All yeah, all that. That. I saw that coming. You saw that coming. That's yeah. just such a good raid. Yeah. Uh, Cataclysm, I I raided the first tier, and then I just like quit doing raids properly until at the end of Mists. Hmm. But my favorite one was uh, probably Blackwing Descent. Hmm. Um, in Mr. Pandaria, uh, even though I started raiding properly again in Siege, I did really like Throne of Thunder, even though I only did it on Raid Finder. Like, hmm. I just liked the design of the place. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, in, in Warlords, uh, Blackrock Foundry is probably my favorite, mainly because of the Black Hand fight, and also probably the, the Hansgar and Franzog fight and the train fight. Those are pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. 
Alright, thank you for the letter. Appreciate it. Hope that answers the question. What was the name of that person? Just uh, want to make sure I have got... Okay, yeah. Oh, the the uh, the Talon King? Wow. You got mail from the Talon King himself? Yeah, dude. Wow. Mm-hmm. He's noticed you. Do you want to read a letter now, or do you want me to go again? Oh, uh, sure, I'll read one of mine. This one is from Sephrel. I hope I'm saying that right. Hello, guys. This is a fan post, smiley face. <laughs> Just want to say you do great work, love your videos, so keep on going for many more. Greetings from Germany, Sephro. Thank you, dude, or lady, or do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. We do great work on the greatest adventure, you know. We do great work. Running around for an hour and a half, leveling. Yeah. Facing the challenges of the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, Back to I- you. I'm at, I might not reply to all those messages where people say, like, oh, you do great, I really enjoy your videos, but I appreciate every single one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Cool. Um, what was the name, got... the name one more time? Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Thank you very much, Sephiroth. My turn? Yep. Okay. Calambra. Calambra. Subject. Smiley face. Hey, Nixium. Do you love me? I love you. Answer this message or I will send Garrosh to kill you. Oh wait, never mind, he is dead. I'm sending Mukluk to kill you then, smiley face. Just I ain't kidding. Doing shit, I ain't <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> Just kidding, I love your videos. P.S. By the way, how to monk. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, where's your next how to monk video? My next how to monk video? I'm planning yeah, I have one where's already. Where's the sequel? Where's the sequel, yeah. Um, where's the prequel? Hold on, I gotta answer these questions in order. Do I love you? We need it. We need to. This relationship is going too quick for me. We need to. We need to take things a little bit more steady. Um, answer this message. Okay. Uh, Garrosh is dead. Yes. Mukluk's apparently going to come kill me. Don't worry. I'll watch my back. I'll probably eat him as well. Probably eat me too. And how to monk? Uh, not sure when I'm going to do how to monk. I kind of want to wait until Big Maddie is around again since he's our local monk. I'd like mm. to get him involved in it. But um, yeah. I mean that's. Thanks for the message, Calambra. Um, thank you. Yeah, thanks. You know, I'm glad you enjoy the videos, and thank you for taking the time to write us a message. Love it. Me. Okay. Um, Your turn. Uh, okay, next one here is from Shirami, I think. I think that's how you said Shirami. Okay. Hello. Finally found you guys. It took me quite some time. <laughs> I wish I would join your amazing super duper uber fantastic journey. Sincerely, a fan. P.S. Here's some coppers. P.P.S. I'm not wearing a chest piece. Ooh. Oh, good. Those yeah. are the rules. Do it right. Good that you're not wearing that. Nixium would probably get really <laughs> angry if you weren't. I would get really angry. Is that the end uh, of the message? That, that is it. So thank you, Shimmy, for sending that. Uh, you could stop by on the journey. We've had a few guests appear mm-hmm. here and there today. A few stalkers. I think, yeah, I think her guardian angel's probably around here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we, we ditched them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you for the message. It's very kind of you. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Hopefully hopefully one day you find a chess piece so you're not cold. If you can. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're playing a tauren, a big fuzzy tauren. Yes, yeah, unless you're a big fuzzy tauren. Then, then you're, you're never fine. cold. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. My turn. I got. Wow. Okay, I got some presents here. This is from Jeffrey, or Geffrey. There's no, there's not two Fs, so there's just one F, so Geffrey or Jeffrey, whatever. Okay. Greetings. Thanks to you, I started playing WoW again. Thanks. Smiley face. Can you, can you make guild for fans? A Tauren guild? Question mark. I give you two rum, a gold, because you're number one, and two goblin glider kits for fun. Your Tauren, Jeffrey, a resto shaman. They gave me a gold, gave me two things of alcohol. Everyone's trying to get me drunk. Hmm, drink up. It's like, listen, and then two goblin glider kits. I've never actually used a goblin glider kit before in this game. Oh, as crazy as that sounds. We should use it soon. We should, yeah. Maybe you can end the episode with it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll just into like, a building. We'll fly, yeah, we'll fly away into the distance and crash into a building. Oh boy. Um, thanks for the gold, man. Um, uh, made I. 
always expected everyone would just if someone sent us anything it'd be like one copper two copper or something <laughs> yeah. so a please gold... don't actually send us a real amount of money that would be such a waste of your money please. yeah, yeah. <laughs> these aren't like our real characters <laughs> yeah. yeah don't send us like 10 million gold in the mail please do not do that someone's gonna do it now I you're, know, just, you're just trying to do reverse yeah. psychology on them. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whatever you do, don't don't send a load of money to Mookluck. Don't on... not send. <laughs> yeah. 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 Send it all to Mookluck <laughs> on whatever your server is. No spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude. Thanks for the gold. Thanks for the rum. I'll drink to you. Let me drink real quick. Oh. Oh. And thanks for the goblin glider kit. So I'm gonna fly that into a building here in Booty Bay. Yeah. All right. So, Smash right for a wall. Thanks, Jeffrey. Keep on healing. Thank you, Delete. Jeffrey. Your turn. Okay. Uh, well, this next one is the one I read earlier from Wilhelm. Where okay. It's just Tiger Egg. Here's 20 Kolba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can skip I that one. I still like that one. Yeah. Uh, the last one I Kolba. have. Oh, I'm an idiot. Didn't Earlier on, I said it was Un Uncle Stan. It's, I'm such an idiot. It's Uncle Stan, clearly. And Uncle clearly, Stan. I'm a retard. I, I have a thing from him, too. I'm going to open mine. It might be the same oh, thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'll read this one. Okay, uh, this is my last one anyway. Okay. I, your lost... Okay, this is going to be good, isn't it? <laughs> I, your lost uncle, noticed you'd been making quite the name for yourselves. It's been... It's been so long since we had a good old meeting. In closed, I have given you 15 copper for good luck on your travels. P.S. We must catch up some... We must catch up sometime. Okay, thank you. That, that's, our, that's our Uncle Stan. I mean, I didn't <laughs> even know we were related, but I got, apparently... <laughs> I got the same message. Dude, well, fi I, 15 copper. I didn't know you had the same uncle as me. Dude. Dude, like, Dad got around. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're even a different fur color to me. Yeah, dude, Dad got around, man. He's He was uh, quite a player. Goodness. Well, so, thank you, Uncle Stan. Uh, it's been so long since we've heard from you. You must come to a family dinner sometime. You know, Uncle we'll, Stan... We'll be serving lazy pee... I mean... <laughs> what? What? Carry on. You know, last, uh, last family meeting, Uncle Stan, you actually didn't show up, so... You know, I appreciate you sending us a message, because we were, we were we were wondering where you were that, that bleh, last Thanksgiving. So, I appreciate the message. Letting us know you're doing well. Hope you're doing good, Uncle Stan. We'll probably Thank come back to Thunder Stan. Bluff once we're, you know, big burly men. Thanks for teaching me how to ride a bike when I was little Uncle Stan. Yeah, thanks for teaching me how to kick gnomes. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the days. Well, that's like, it for me. Do you want to carry on with yours? I still got a few more. So the I first shall one. sit and listen. All right, sit and listen. I will. I shall read to you a story. I like the way Torin sit because it looks like they're wiggling their toes. Oh yeah, toes. <laughs> first one. Uh, me. Wait. Meruzol. Meruzol. Not Meruzol. Meruzol. Okay. Um. Hey, I'm a big fan of both you and Mookluck. Hope you guys like the gift. Continue making awesome videos and don't tell Mookluck you heard this from me. But he killed the lazy peon. There's no evidence of that. <laughs> no evidence of that. Wow. Dude, he did not have to send. Like, he sent us two Direhorn Runt battle pets. Wow. Hold on. Wait, let me I already have that? <laughs> I'm, I might have it too, but I don't care. Oh. Here, I got two. I'll give you one. Oh, I to realize we... Yeah, poor Greg. He's going to get... Little Greg, sorry. He's going to get jealous. There you go. Hey puppy, my, my 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 actual puppy. She's trying to crawl up on my lap. Okay, so I'm one? gonna learn it. Hey, hey. Was it dire dire horn? That's what it's called. My horn run. Puppy, don't lick my hand. I'm trying to film the greatest adventure. Yeah, I have one already. His name is Reptar. He's a Reptar. cutie. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna name this one. What should I name this one? Uh, oh, wait, what was the name of the what person? What was his name? Yeah. Mehruzel. M e h r z u l. M E E H. I don't know how to rename. M E H. Hold on. M E H R Z U L. R Z U L. That was it, right? I think so. Except. M E H R Z U L. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, now let's summon it. Goodbye, hamburgers. Hello, Mehruzel. Dude! There we go. Oh my goodness, look at these two stalkers that have shown up. <laughs> Meruzel. Every time hey, someone's Meruzel. a pet, we'll just use that pet instead. 
<laughs> and name it after them. Isn't that cute? Oh, a little dinosaur. This little legs going. Mm. Thank you, Marizel. Thank I you. I love it. And I don't. I don't. Okay. They <laughs> hit lazy peon. As long as Mukluk doesn't get caught, it's as if he didn't do it. Yeah, so. the only thing that makes a murder a murder is evidence. So. <laughs> exactly. All right, next one. This one is from uh, Taro Wrist. Taro mm -hmm. Wrist. Greetings, traveler. I am a young oh. Torin who watches you and Mukluk's greatest adventure on YouTube, and I'm a big fan of you guys. Oh. I'm going through a less desirable time right now, but I'm okay because your videos do make me smile every day, and that means a lot to me. Uh, I really want to join you once on the greatest adventure with you guys just to see you and maybe have a little chat with you guys but I don't know when you guys are online could you tell me when you are online hugs and kisses he sent me tough jerky leg meat and two copper oh well that was a really nice message yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately we don't really have a schedule for being online mm -mm. Um, we have talked about maybe doing a stream sometime with people special guest the viewers Special guest, the viewers. That's my plan. Uh, I'm sure we'd give people a bit of a heads up yeah, uh, before we go live. Maybe we'd like put out a video, maybe on both our channels, just saying like, hey, we're going to be doing a special episode and you'll be the guests. Come by the stream on this day, time, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, like, if you're around, mm -hmm. come, come say hi. Mm -hmm. We'd yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. And thank you for such a, a nice message as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I know back when I was, when I was younger and I was a teenager, I remember watching like Oxhorn and stuff got me through some pretty hard times. So it's pretty, it's very strange being in the creator's shoes rather than the viewer. So I know exactly what you're talking about when you say, you know, having someone to watch that makes you smile is, it, it humbles me. Let me just leave it at that. It humbles me. And my puppy is pulling on my cable puppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has... Puppy, this is an emotional <laughs> she, moment. You're she, ruining it. She had my microphone cable like wrapped around her leg and was trying to run away. She almost pulled out my headset. So, but it's, <laughs> it's all right. Um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate the message. You know, I hope that me and Mukluk, our videos always make you smile because we do put a lot of heart and passion into it. Um, well, I do anyway. Mukluk doesn't, but you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so, oh. yeah, but. Yeah, dude, um, if you ever, if you do catch us, if we're, like, doing a stream or something, just come by and wave, and we'll talk to you, and be like, hey, dude, what's up? So, his name was Taroist. Taroist, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. This one's from Seth Roll. He says... Seth Rogen? No, Seth Roll. Oh. He says, hey there, guys, this is a fan post. Just want to say you do great work, love your videos. That was the guy that sent me the message. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that yeah, Greetings from Germany. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so we've already replied to this message. Yeah. yeah. Seth Roll. Woo! All right, we've done that one. Next one. Uh, now my puppy is playing in my garbage can. Hey! She knocked over my garbage can. Stop it! Don't give me that look. Look how weird Torin look when they're reading their note when it, they're sitting down. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking at your ankles. They look like a big child. Yeah. Um, sh uh, shear me. Shear me. Oh, um, they, they mailed me as well. Uh, not wearing a chest. Yep, yep, same person. Yep. Yep. All right, so we've done that one. Tomoto. Haven't done that one. Tomoto, fan mail. To the greatest adventurers, Charles and Gregory, a.k.a. the greatest YouTubers ever, here is a drink to say thanks for making funny and awesome videos. Keep up the great work. In all caps, have a great adventure. P.S. Keep being awesome. More... Tomato or Tomato. Uh, tomato. Tomato? Tomato. 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 Potato. So much alcohol. People just <laughs> keep sending us drinks. I'm gonna drink to you, tomato. Mm. Everyone's Pass gonna that be... around, bro. Fine, you can have some too, I guess. He did technically send it to both of us. Hey. There you go. And knock it back <laughs> to you, tomato. Tomato. Mm. Tomato. tomato. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks you for the thank you for the alcohol. I'm trying to get us drunk so you can kill us in a back alley. You know. Oh, wait, I drank the wrong thing. Thank Here, you. I'll drink some more. There okay. we go. Sure, you drank the wrong thing. You're just trying to have an excuse <laughs> to just, drink. L listen here, you little shit. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you for the the message. Thanks for the beer and yeah, dude. More episodes to come. 
just getting started. Thanks, Greatest man. Adventure. All right. Kind of trying to rush a little bit since we've been going for almost an hour and a half now. Um, next one, we got two more. Next one, Nick's Cluck Fan. Nice. Nice name. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, hey there, Nixie and Moo Cluck. I just wanted to say that I love your videos on YouTube. I'm a big fan of YouTube, and I even made this character in case I'd be able to meet or play with you guys in game. I also wondered if you wanted to make videos with me in the future, perhaps, since I was planning on making some WoW machinimas, but that was just a random thought. I hope you reply or show this in your next video. And then he gave me his battle tag, which... Uh, he won't read out, just for privacy's sake. Well, it's, it's going to be there in the video now. Don't oh, blur. crap. Blur, Don't... Just blur it out. Blur I'll, it out. Bl I'll blur it out. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'll blur it out. <laughs> um, Nick's Clock Fan. Uh, so... Well, first of all, thank you for the message. Um, you know, just like the other people, you know, thanks. Appreciate every message we get saying that you enjoy our stuff. Um, in terms of, you know, do we want to make something with you? I mean, I'm not entirely... What do you think, Nick Um, I mean, like, uh, if you have any work on the internet, I mean, like, send it to us. Yeah, yeah. Like, we'll definitely take a look at it. Um, like, if we're going to do collaborations with people, we do like to know that uh, they are able to start and complete a project like that's mm. the the most important thing Definitely. like if you have any work you want to share with us send it to like one of our emails and we'll check it out uh and you know we'll work with you if that's the case mm -hmm. but otherwise we don't usually work with uh fans mm -hmm. like it's just uh you know we we get messages all the time oh, yeah. like hey hey you want to work uh with me mm -hmm. and then we you know like i said tying into what i just said a minute ago they have like absolutely no work online but if yeah. like like I say if you can prove that you can start and finish a project yeah we'll work with you yeah 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 youtubers um i'll tell people this like youtubers tend to including myself and mooclock we tend to work with people who have established themselves as fellow youtubers if you follow what i'm saying like they're releasing content uh the content they release is good and you know we you know enjoy it um, you know, they can start and finish a video, just like Moo Clock explained. Um, you know, YouTubers help each other out, you know, because we do this for a living. So, you know, YouTubers help fellow YouTubers. So, um, <clears throat> usually when it comes to, like, you know, fans getting involved and doing stuff with fans, usually that kind of occurs when maybe we need, like, some extra voice actors or something like that. Um, which is kind of rare, since me and Moo Clock can do so many voices. But I know in my lore video coming up, I'll need some more voice actors. So, especially mm -hmm. a female. I need a female voice actor. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, dude. I mean, like, if you can if you can release some stuff and get it out there and it's high quality and you show that you have a passion about it and your channel is growing and it's clear that you love what you're doing, um, I mean, hell, dude, I'd be happy to promote your channel and to work with mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So let's do it. Gotta just gotta show that passion, you know. Mm -hmm. And you gotta, you gotta show it. you're passionate about it, and yeah. that yeah, like you're not just gonna do something on a whim. Mm -hmm. and you can, you know, you get out there and you're not afraid to make what you want to make and put it on the internet for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, that you can just finish a project. That's the main thing for me. Mm -hmm. All right. So the last message, last one. This one is from from Fabricus. Mm -hmm. Fabricus. He says. Hello, Shamanist Charles. I've been watching you learn and become stronger in the skill of shamanism. Someday you might be greater than the world shaman himself, shitty green Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but of what I have seen, you will be needing a little help. So here, take these. Also, a little reminder, appreciate your friend Gregory. Ha! Without him, you will not make it that far in your adventure. May the eternal sun shine your way, Sunwalker... Uh, Diren. Diren. Don't get closer to me. Getting in your face. What did you say about me, bitch? I laughed at you. I didn't oh. say anything. I laughed. Mm -hmm. He sent me... I'm back on you now. He sent me a belt. A nice belt that I can wear. I'm going to equip that. A pair of shoes. One leather and one... Actually, hold on. Yeah, a leather one with agility and one with intellect. I'm going to take the intellect and spirit one those on. Even though they're probably worse. They're actually, I think they're, they're actually worse than what I have. Yes, they are. Let me put the other ones back on. Don't worry. And then the last one is a 
cloth pair bracers, one intellect, one spirit. And I can't carry anymore. Oh, nah. Weak. You got weak arms, that's why. Let me delete something. I'm going to delete this small raptor tooth. So the person who sent me that beef I just deleted, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I delete... You monster, you deleted that... Uh, what was it? The rum miss... in the last episode. I'm sorry, I had to make you room You monster. My, my bracers are actually better, but the belt. The belt's good. I like the belt. Actually, the belt wasn't... My, my current belt was better, too. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What what do oh I do? Uh, 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 quick, cut to something else. Actually, wait, no. No, because the... Well, I mean, it is better, technically. Well, <laughs> what? Whatever. Just say thanks, you'll eat <laughs> thank, it. Thank you, I'll eat it. <laughs> what Mooclux <laughs> said. I'm going to get rid of this uh, little... Uh, uh, let me drink this rum. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, the four gifts. Unfortunately, most of my gear is better at this point, but you know what? Sunwalker Dyron, D-I-R-O-N. How do you pronounce that? Dyron? Dyron? Dyron. Dyron sounds good. Dyr. Yeah, because yeah, Dyron sounds kind of, you know, I don't know. So, uh, Dyron. Thank you, Sunwalker Dyron, for, uh, for the gifts. And just like Uncle Sam, what was his name? Uncle Uncle Sam? Uncle Stan. Uncle, Uncle Stan. Stan. Excuse me. Sorry, I don't go and visit him very often. And just like Uncle Stan, we'll be back in Thunder Bluff soon enough, and we'll come visit. Come visit all of our friends back home. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's it. That's it for the mail. I love answering letters. It's great. It's wonderful. Thank mail you time. For writing in. Thank you for writing in. Everybody. Yes. If some people we kind of elaborated on a little bit more than others, apologize. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of letters to read. I guess we should wrap this up. I we mean, should wrap this up, man. Uh, mail time, great. <laughs> Greatest adventure, great. Oh, yeah, I'm turning my back on you for that comment you made. What, where I I'm, laughed at you? I'm turning my back on you. Where I laughed at you? Will I ever be able to forgive you? You'll have to find out next time on The Greatest Adventure. Oh, now my feelings are hurt. Will he ever be able to forgive me? Let's <laughs> find out next time on The Greatest Adventure. Have it hold. See you next time. Maybe uh, maybe we can also figure out how in the world oh. to get banners to bubble. Yeah. I'm going to go sit down. Dude, the oh. adventure begin or the adventure ends where it began. Oh, okay. But I I'm angry at you so I'm going to be facing the other way. Okay. All right. <laughs> the greatest adventure is what lies ahead. <clears throat> <clears throat> See you later guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the later. letters. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bear. Bonus footage! Uh, just Bonus turn it footage! Back. Bonus We've footage! Ba -da -ba -ba. Or maybe this will be like in the credits. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Up on the hill where we left Noble. Noble's ba -da hill. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> uh, it'll just like play like this happy music as we fly in. Make it to the ship, quick, before it sails away. Hold on, I'm gonna trade. Oh! I'm gonna give you... Oh, you, there's an extra one? Yeah, dude, he gave, he gave me two. Ooh. So it'll just like, I'll play this footage, it'll be like in the... I'll play like some like, you know... Soar like an eagle. Yeah, already. And go. Right. And I uh, <laughs> crushed into a post. We did it. We did it. Yeah. We, did. we did it. That was shit. Yeah, that was terrible. That was probably one of the worst. I got a broken snout now. Oh yeah, it's a shadow. That's not exactly what I was, I was expecting. This majestic cruise around around Ratchet. <laughs> just, just like, almost about to hit the ground, turn the thing on, fly ten feet, poof, crash into a ship. <laughs> Whatever. That was terrible. Now I'm damp. Uh oh.